hope y'all this is day three of my road to 1k video marathon it's your girl Bria Naya today I will be doing moving day tips advice help survival tips um, what to expect on your moving day and just things to make your moving day go a little bit smoother I'm just gonna get right into the big V oh 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 first thing that I have listed on my list is pack early one thing that i did wrong was like wait too long to pack like literally the day before moving day or like the night before moving day i was still packing i felt pressured and stressed so to kind of like avoid all of that stress try to pack early you definitely want to already be packed at least a week or two prior i put all of my things in the living room because that helped me that helped me see everything that was like packed away Everything that I know I packed up was in the living room. So I just took everything out of my room and I put it in the living room. So the next tip that I have on my list would be, if you're traveling to Tallahassee, I recommend that you come a day before. For me, um, my original time was in the afternoon, but I decided to move it early. Around check-in time was seven. So I left my house in my city at three in the morning. It was so tight on the road. I was exhausted when I got here. I was exhausted that night. So my tip to save energy, because you're gonna need that energy to move all your stuff in. I highly, highly, highly recommend if you're traveling from out of state, out of town or whatever, come the day before, get a hotel so you can rest up and like come to the school. My next tip will be to know what office um, you're gonna be checking into. Before you get here, I say probably a day, a day or two before, go into like your email because you're gonna get like email stating like what office to come to what building number room or whatever like they're gonna give you certain details like that the address so make sure you have all that in your gps make sure you have all that you know in your brain and you know where you're going because you don't want to get here and be all lost and asking people so make sure you know because you don't want to be lost my next tip would be to know how you want to do like your room theme and how you want to set up your room before you like start doing all your dorm shopping i advise you to know how you want to do your uh little color scheme and know how you want to set up your room if you know what the room looks like that makes it even better and easy even easier so kind of plan accordingly if you know that you're sharing a room with somebody don't go get don't go getting all this extra big stuff extra stuff because you're not gonna have room for that but if you're having a room on your own yeah you can you know get this and that but if you're like me and you're gonna have um, being a double go ahead and kind of like plan accordingly know where you want to put certain stuff because I thought I was gonna bring my whole room there I thought I was gonna have a hair salon a nail salon makeup and vanity and all that y'all <laughs> No. So my next tip is for when you get here and you're setting up, do a section at a time. I definitely wish I would have did a section at a time. Like all of my stuff was kind of all over the place and it was everywhere. So it made it hard for me to get one section done. I left that section undone to finish another section. So make sure when you're setting up, <clears throat> especially if you're, if you're in a double and you and your roommate are getting moved in and setting up at the same time, you want to make sure that you're doing a section at a time so you can stay organized and your stuff isn't all over the place and junky and messy and it's just gonna make you more stressed and you, you're gonna feel pressure and just annoyed. So I recommend that you go ahead and do a section at a time. Your bedding, your clothes, your shoes, and how you're gonna do this and that, do a section at a time. Another tip that I have would be to check in early. So I wasn't supposed to move in until about three, two o'clock, and I didn't wanna move in that late. I wanted to move in early, checking in early, so that, you know, there's any hassles, is there any, like, confusion or problems, you wanna, you're gonna have that time to figure things out. I'm the type of person where I plan accordingly, so if anything goes wrong, I can still work around that. For family specifically, I call to make sure it's okay if I can check in early. If you're coming to family, you're trying to check in early, call um, your housing, wherever you're staying at their office first and make sure it's okay so another tip that i have would be to set up your big stuff first so things like your tv your mini fridge you know if you want to move your drawers around because you know some people they don't keep their room how it was when they got here they kind of like move things around or whatever so if you're planning on doing things of that such make sure you do your big items first because for one, they're heavy. It's gonna get messy. Things are gonna be all over the place. So you wanna make sure you do the big things first, get those out the way. This is a very important tip. Now, this is something that I totally forgot to do. This tip is to go grocery shopping with your people here. Do not go grocery shopping before or like 
you know, a couple days before or just in general. Do not go get drinks, don't get snacks, don't get food. Because for one, it's probably going to go bad. It's going to expire quicker. Get things when you get here. That'll be extra stuff that you have to load in here and carry in here. And, you know, like groceries and stuff, it, it's not one wop. Like, you can't pack groceries. You have to actually, you know, bring it in. So, my advice grocery shop when you get here and then when you do grocery shop make sure your parents don't leave first you want them to stay so <laughs> they can pay for your groceries so yeah you can save a few bucks a tip i recommend would as far as like packing for moving day would be to use bins i'm gonna probably insert like a little photo here um get these type of bins because they're more a little easier to tote if you're having people help you um, move in it's gonna be easier to um have them carry because uh, your girl didn't touch nothing but yeah it's gonna be easier for other people to carry or for you to carry in and bring stuff in and out and on top of that you have to be mindful of the things that you bring in because you're also gonna have to take that out so it's easier to have bins so you can just put everything back in those bins and it's gonna be easier to pack out like pack it up when you're leaving so i recommend to do bins another tip would be to dress comfortably i got a customized fam you shirt and i wore like some little um biker shorts and i wore some slides some like furry slides because well, you're going to be walking in and out you're going to be running around you're going to be very tired it's going to be hot as heck it's going to be very hot over packed because you're going to have to take all of that out and you don't want to have to do that i promise you like when it's time to go you're not going to want to have to do all that another tip i recommend would be to get a big trunk i'm probably going to insert another picture right here um i have one they're very useful um it consists of all of my cleaning supplies um hygiene products laundry stuff like little tight pods detergent toothpaste deodorant anything you can think of i literally have all of that in there get all of your hygiene products laundry stuff and put it in there that'll also free up some space for when you're packing to leave whenever i run out of like toothpaste go right in there i get some and I'm good to go so those are very useful to have and very good to have another tip would be to put notes on your bins and storages this will allow for you to not be unorganized it'll avoid things being like messy all over the place you know you'll know where certain things go like for instance, if you pack your clothes in one bin, you can start, you know, unloading your clothes and putting them inside of your um, drawer or dresser. Just kind of put little notes on them, little um, tags, so you'll know where certain things go and it'll avoid, like, the mess. Another tip that I have is kind of common sense for those out there who are neat and clean freaks. Go ahead and disinfect and clean everything. You want to get your bleach, your Lysol, especially if you're staying in a sweet style like me. We have two bathrooms and yes people clean them before we get here but you just want to make sure you don't know how many people's been staying here go ahead wipe down your bed wipe down you know everything in here basically just clean it out disinfect it something to expect would be a dorm checklist or an evaluation checklist this is very very important when you're moving into your dorm you will receive an evaluation checklist and it will list every single thing in your room your window the blinds closet your bed dresser chair every single thing that's in here will be on the list so basically you will have um, a section where it says good bad or like needs improvement needs to be improved whatever things like that you will be responsible for checking off things that are bad things that need to be replaced if there's like mold if there's anything in the room that shouldn't be there you have to check that on the list um if anything is broken if something needs to be replaced if there's not paint on the wall if it's like marks and stuff scratches anything that's wrong you have to put it on there because at the end of the semester or end of the year you will have to turn that back in and put everything on there again or do it again and if things are broken or messed up or misplaced or whatever you will be responsible for it so make sure you thoroughly go through the checklist the tip would be to try and complete all of your unloading and setting up that day um you're gonna be tired depending on if you're traveling or whatever even if you're not traveling by the end of that day you're gonna be very very exhausted and you're probably gonna want to hang out that night you know depending on if you're um if the school is going to be hosting something i know family usually has something going on moving day or even that weekend 
so make sure you complete everything because it's gonna get agitating if you have a roommate i'm sure you know you don't want things to be everywhere still that weekend but you're gonna want to like get done you just kind of get things done completed so you can hang out and just chill and relax that is everything that i have for you guys that is all my tips if you guys have any other questions feel free to dm me on instagram at briannaya tv and also subscribe to my channel make sure you guys also check out my road to 1k giveaway i'm having a giveaway 50 dollars. make sure you guys check that out head to my instagram to find out how to enter briannaya tv again thank you guys for watching my video and i will see y'all in my next video Oh, 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 oh,